Good evening, thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Karen Lair. The Bishop of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Boise is telling fellow Catholics at Sunday service to trust in Jesus. This comes one week after a former Boise priest was arrested for several child sex crimes after investigators reportedly found hundreds of images of child pornography on his computer. Six on your side's Michael Severn has the exclusive reaction in tonight's big story. Karen, the bishop addressed the prisoners with St. Mary's Catholic Church in Boise this morning. The same church where disgraced priest Thomas Fauché served until three years ago. For the first time since Fauché's arrest, the bishop is speaking exclusively with Six on Your Side about his reaction to the allegations. Sadness and a sense of betrayal. These are the emotions Bishop Peter Christensen of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Boise says he felt after learning of the charges brought against retired priest Thomas Fauché. You can't help but feel that somebody that should be doing better is done something awful and uh, that awful act is um, it's a sense of betrayal. It, it hurts. I've been a priest for 32 years and never have I heard a story quite like this. Fauché served as a spiritual leader of St. Mary's Catholic Church and School for nearly 20 years before retiring three years ago. The disgraced 72 year old priest now facing 12 charges of possessing or distributing child porn and additional charges for the possession of marijuana, LSD and ecstasy. On Sunday, the bishop addressing the parishioners of St. Mary's expressing his gratitude to the current priest, principal of St. Mary's School, law enforcement and media. Calling child pornography the work of the devil, he wonders if the allegations are true, what went wrong in Fauché's life to bring him to such horrific interests on the internet? This is a man they loved, they trusted, and this is a man that has done um, a horrendous crime, if it is as stated, which it sounds like it is. Um, it's a horrendous crime, and that breaks their, their confidence in who this man was. The bishop says Fauché's alleged actions are also hurting church leadership around the state. One priest telling him he feels as if he was just splattered with mud. It breaks the morale of part, you know, for priests in part. It's uh, very sad because you know you spend your life trying to do good for people, and when somebody comes along like this, it, it just devalues it a bit. The bishop asking the clergy in their diocese to share a letter with churchgoers throughout the Gem State, stating in part, the diocese is not paying for Father Fauché's legal defense, nor has they contributed any money toward his bail bond, and they do not pay his rent. St. Mary's Church now working to evict Fauché from his Boise home, which is owned by the church, a move the bishop supports, siding with Fauché's neighbors and concerns for his safety. I think it's only right. I think the community should not be living with turmoil in their own mind and heart, protecting, feeling like they have to protect their kids. I think if I was a parent, I'd feel the same way. Well, St. Mary's has made two attempts to evict Fauché from this past Friday, but failed. Either he wasn't at home or didn't answer the door. Church leaders say they will continue to pursue the eviction efforts until they are successful. Fauché is expected in court again this week. His preliminary hearing is scheduled for Thursday morning at 8.30 a.m. at the Ada County Courthouse. Reporting live in studio, I'm Michael Severin, 6 on your side.